for analytical models, you know, they're traditionally used in decision support in yes. one way or another. Yeah. Whereas generative models are the ones which are probably more risky because they're, in, they're, they're at the moment not, not totally explainable. Yeah. Yeah. I think you've hit on a key point here, which is we've almost come to a point where we trust, they, we trust the computer, we trust data to get it right more than we trust a human being. We're now entering a space where actually it's fuzzier, yes. not fully explainable. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, it's now in the sort of, it, it's almost like the human sort of error, error rates. And it, it's, it's, I think that's why this needs to be treated differently, right? It's not yes. like, right, I'm making a, a logical deduction based on a SQL query that's going to return me the yeah, same yeah, result yeah. every time I run it. Yeah. And I've got source data here that deter it's deterministic, right? It's yeah, exactly. Whereas this, I, the, maybe, and so maybe this applies to stuff that is non-deterministic and not they're easily testable and repeatable and explainable. Yeah. And therefore LLM is just perhaps the first example of that that's come along that's got people talking. Exactly. Yeah. So it's actually looking at how do we refine this to mm. something that is actually better. Yeah. Right. yeah. So it's, uh, I mean, almost the question in, I mean, like in uh, Hitchhiker's uh, Guide to the Galaxy, <laughs> where you're actually looking at, it's the next one that you should wait for. Right. right. <laughs> so in this particular case, we've got this, I mean, like this uh, model, I mean, uh, that has got uh, knowledge that is actually uh, not uh, explicit, right? It's embedded in there, it's mm -hmm. recorded in there, you can find it if you're looking for it. Now, mm -hmm. the question is, what was it trained on? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And what is actually left behind? What does it indeed cover? Yeah, yeah. And how true is the answer, right? Because if you're looking at embeddings, right, or you're looking mm -hmm. at um, getting uh, data that is actually within context, it's like, okay, how big is that context? What is the boundary yeah. of that context? Right? And if I combine several sources, uh, which one is the more trusted yeah. source? Yeah. Yeah. Right? So these are things that we need to maybe yeah. explore. Yeah. Yeah, I almost think it's interesting to look at it as, um, you know, we're now building systems which are sufficiently complex um, that they're not explainable mm, in a way, yeah. and, and they're not um, explainable in a, in a programmatic way. Yeah. Um, so you almost have to treat it like a black box at the moment, and it's almost similar to um, like you would have to treat a human agent. Yeah. You know, that human agent, if you think about you, you're in a, in a company, you have a person working for that company, yeah. you have policies that guide them, but they're, in, they're in, an agent who can act on their own. Yeah. And, and essentially we're moving towards something sufficiently complex that an AI agent can, can make decisions that can't be explained, maybe can't be fully constrained by, by all the rules. And so yeah. what techniques do we apply to, or do organizations apply to control human actors yeah. in, in the way they interface with their customers? Can we find analogs and systemize mm. some of those things to control, that's a very interesting um, comparison. To control a, an AI agent? Yeah. Actually, th th that's, a good, uh, that's a good point because if you think about uh, content moderation, right? In most cases, we've got the, uh, uh, let's say I send my text and uh, I know that, okay, that text might contain something that is actually, that, that, that is actually uh, uh, probably harmful. I want to actually remove it, right? Now, I send it, I mean, it's clean text. I send it to, I mean, to uh, uh, chat GPT, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm asking is, uh, okay, or not, uh, not chat GPT exactly, but L mm -hmm. an LLM, right? But what I want is for it to draw something, right? Now my content moderation is based on is looking at text, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what if it draws something that is actually you now awkward, mm -hmm. right? That means that when I'm building my filters, I have to think about how was this model really <laughs> trained? Yeah, because <laughs> I guess we're getting out of the structure. Because when we're in structured data world, we can apply some quite simplistic rule sets around is is that the correct answer? Yes. When you get to unstructured. Uh, well, we, it, traditionally, the technology world has always struggled with unstructured, right? It's been harder yes. to deal with. And I think we are now banging our heads against this generative problem. It's generating stuff that's not necessarily easily processed.